How geoengineering could cool the planet. Did you know we could cool the planet down with technology? Solar geoengineering specialists reckon technology could cool the planet's temperature by using it to add sulfur to the atmosphere. And that's central to the following ideas. Volcanic eruptions can cool the Earth. This is because they emit sulfur dioxide, a UV repellent gas, into the stratosphere. Earther reports that millions of high altitude balloons carrying sulfur may also be an option. But do that, and you'll likely get plastic falling from the sky, plus, it'll also be very, very costly. Another option, Earther reports, is to maybe use aircraft such as the Stratotanker to disperse the sulfur into the stratosphere, as the aircraft can already reach that altitude, which is around six miles from the Earth's surface. And while it may work, the costs could be high, and we're not just talking financially. Citing a leaked UN draft report on global warming, Reuters reports the organization's climate experts opined that solar geoengineering could be economically, socially, and institutionally infeasible. Moreover, Harvard's solar engineering head, Gert Wagner, told Earther that deployment of solar radiation management tech would be, quote, unambiguous proof of our miserable failure as a species to act as responsible planetary stewards. Ultraviolet. Solar Expressway gets road tested in China. The People's Republic of China is testing a solar expressway. The one kilometer expressway was built in Jinan in eastern China with 5,875 square feet of solar panels. The road is comprised of three parts insulation on the bottom, the solar panel in the middle, and weight bearing transparent concrete on the top. According to Chinese state media outlet Xinhua, the road can generate enough power for 800 homes. How much it cost is unknown, but the company that made it said it was half the cost of similar projects in foreign countries. Endless energy with one coat of paint. Researchers from the Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology have invented a novel new paint that can turn surfaces into a hydrogen power generator. Synthetic molybdenum sulfide is a newly developed compound that absorbs moisture and accelerates the splitting of water molecules. When mixed with titanium oxide in paint, the resulting substance is able to produce hydrogen energy from sunlight and water vapor. Hydrogen is one of the cleanest sources of energy and can be used to power vehicles and equipment. The solar paint can generate hydrogen energy in remote locations or hot and dry climates, so long as there is sunlight and moisture in the air. Researchers believe it will take at least five years to come up with the final product, but they're confident that it will be cheap and accessible. Solar window blinds can block and harvest sunlight. A California startup has designed window blinds with solar panels that can block out sunlight while harvesting solar energy from it. Each slat in solar window blinds is equipped with monocrystalline solar panels, which can harvest solar energy. The blinds can also track the path of the sun's position and automatically change the angle of the slats to optimize its absorption of sunlight. The company claims the blinds are able to generate up to 100 watt hours of energy for every square meter when mounted on the outside of a window, or half that amount when mounted inside. Although the slats can automatically change their angles, the blinds can also be manually controlled via an app. The company is hoping to raise $50,000 from Kickstarter in order to mass produce the solar window blinds. A new way of getting power from the sun. Researchers in Britain have developed a new type of technology that can help buildings to harvest solar power in addition to the power generated by rooftop solar panels. Solar squared glass blocks contain a layer of small solar cells. The intelligent optics of the blocks focus incoming sunlight onto the solar cells when placed vertically. The blocks can be linked and wired to one another, generating power for buildings and electric vehicles or to be stored in batteries. These blocks can be embedded in conventional construction designs. Tinting can also be added to prevent too much sunlight from entering the building's interior. Researchers say the blocks also offer better thermal insulation than traditional glass building materials. Startup company Build Solar, which developed this project, is looking for test sites for this technology. A finished product is expected to be available next year.